bring your drawing to front view and make sure to work on parallel projection by clicking this drop down arrow and select parallel start with line so l for line command enter click anywhere on the screen move your cursor to the right for 75 units uh, please make sure your ortho mode is on so click this one here so 75 another line from midpoint from this midpoint here to this point is 40 units so l click the midpoint bring your cursor upward for 40 millimeters and bring your cursor to the right for half of this distance this point from this point so 45 divided by 2 is 22.5 and just click that perpendicular point the gap between the midpoint here and this point is 3 as shown here so I'm going to draw a line from in point upward for 3 millimeters and move your cursor to the right for 20 units which is half of this distance here from this point to this point so 20 and just click that uh, in point and as you can see here the gap between the midpoint here and this midpoint is 8 so what I'm gonna do is just offset so O for offset command enter and enter 8 click this line and click above that line I'm gonna draw a line again so L enter in point to in point line again in point to in point now the distance from the midpoint here to the very top here is 20 I got that by subtracting this the total of these three numbers here so 71 minus these numbers so it's 20 so line again in point upward for 20 units and to your right is half of 146 as shown here is 73 so L for line again in point to your right for 73 units now the distance from this endpoint here to this endpoint is 87 so I'm just gonna draw a line parallel to this line from the midpoint here to this point so half of 87 is 43.5 so line in point to your right for 43.5 Now I'm going to draw a circle with a radius of 28 that is tangent to this line and tangent to the line that I'm going to draw from here downward. I'm just going to connect that. So go to circle inside the draw panel, click this drop down arrow and select the circle with tangent tangent radius options and um, click this side here you can see that tangent icon and click this side here and enter 28 units for radius now I need to move this circle to hit this endpoint so move and just click that intersection icon and uh, move it to that endpoint icon now I'm going to trim, so type TR for trim command, enter twice, and just trim this one, remove that, remove this one, and delete this one. Now I'm going to offset this arc and this line for 4 units, as shown here, which is the thickness. 
So all four offset, enter four, click this arc, click downward, click this line, click here. There's another one here and click here. Now I'm going to extend this line. So click this line, just click the grip and stretch it somewhere here. Won't matter as long as it's over this curve. And then type EX for extend command. Enter twice. Click this uh, curve. And then press shift. And cut this line. And cut this line. Now I'm going to draw this uh, portion here. This one which is 162 minus 146 calculator. One sixty two minus one four six is sixteen divided by two is eight. So line from the endpoint here to the right is eight. Move it downward for eight plus seven is fifteen. Fifteen units. Move your cursor to the left, click somewhere here, and just trim. This one, remove this one, and remove this one. Now, I'm going to draw a line from this endpoint. Line. Endpoint upward for 8 units. And just hit that uh, perpendicular point. And as you can see here, the thickness is 6. So I'm going to draw a line. So L for line. Right click to enter. Hover over from that in point, don't click, and just move your cursor to the right for 6 units. Enter 6. Now our line started from 6 units from this in point, and move it upward for 23 units. Now I'm going to draw a line. So this one is... I'm just going to double click 43.7, which is half of 87. So the distance I'm just going to draw a line as a guide from in point downward for 16 units. The 23 here actually is move from here. And draw a line from the in point to that in point. So th this is the distance. I'm just going to move just to make sure if it's uh, 16 units. Yeah, it's correct. This is 16. So I'm just going to delete that. Trim again. Remove this line. Remove this one. Remove. Remove this one. Actually, just delete that. Delete. Line is doubled here, so just trim. TR for trim command, enter twice, click that. And uh, I don't need that anymore. Now I'm going to join the segments. No, wait, I'm not done yet. So this one here, I have to cut this portion here. For indentation and as you can see I'm just gonna make sure the distance here so I'm gonna draw a line downward from midpoint for four units and the distance from here to here is 3, so I'm just going to offset that for 1.5. Oh, 1.5. Click this line and click this side, click this line and click this side. L, in point to in point. I don't want that. Trim, enter twice and remove that. Before you proceed, 
go down to the status bar and make sure your dynamic input is on either ortho mode or polar tracking object snap tracking object snap and uh, selection cycling so when i do that so as you can see there are two lines so i can erase that that's okay now i'm gonna join the segments by typing j for join command and just window the whole thing now i'm gonna type pr for properties i just want to make sure that this segment is closed and uh, click this object and you can see here it says close now it is safe to revolve this one so REV for revolve command, or you can go to modeling panel here, click this drop down arrow, and select revolve. Okay, again revolve. Click this object, enter, and specify axis start point. You can start from this endpoint and this endpoint, and type O or three sixty. Now O zero degree or 360 so enter i'm just gonna change this to x-ray so you could see what's going on inside i'm just gonna turn off the grid maybe change this to conceptual for better visualization all right so i'm gonna bring this to front view because i'm gonna draw this one here this portion copy the edge here first so go back to the ribbon and inside the solid editing panel click this drop down arrow and select copy edges I'm just gonna copy this edge to create a circle enter click anywhere and at the same spot enter again to space and click exit I'm just gonna hide this object so it's easier for me so hide see the circle here that i copied from that edge and bring this drawing to top view and draw a line and uh, the distance from this edge here so i cut that edge from the bottom here just let me check So it should be from here, from this edge. All right. So the distance there is from that quadrant to this uh, center is six. So I'm gonna draw a line, quadrant to your right for six units and draw a circle with a diameter of 20 so c for circle command click that in point as your center and enter d for diameter option and enter 20. another circle d for diameter option and enter 7. draw a line quadrant and just click somewhere here another line from quadrant click somewhere here now TR for train command, enter twice, just remove this one, remove this line, remove this portion here, this segment here, and this one, and join the segments by typing J for join command, and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm going to bring back the heading object, so right click anywhere on your screen. Hover over isolate and select an object isolation. There you go. Now, as you can see here, the extrusion or the thickness of this portion here is seven. So I'm just going to select that and go to home and select extrude command and enter seven. And inside the solid editing panel, use subtract command. Click the object you want to keep, right click and select the object that you don't want, which is this one here. There you go. Now bring your drawing to top view because 
I'm going to array this object. So type array polar. Array polar. Select the object you want to array. Right click to enter and specify center point of array. So click this uh, inside of this circle. You can see that um, cross. Click. And then go back to the ribbon. And the number of items here says six, which is what we want. Or you can change that to four. So just enter to accept. And then, so this is an arrayed object now. Now I want to combine the whole thing. So I'm going to show you what happened here. So highlight and select union command inside the solid editing panel. And as you can see, it didn't work because I have to explode the arrayed object first. So type X for explode command. Right click to enter and explode this one. Now this is individual objects. So now select union command inside the solid editing panel and just window the whole thing. Now this is one object. I'm just going to move or copy this one to the right. I'm, I'm going to slice that just to see what's going on inside. So inside the solid editing panel, select slice, click this object. And just hover over, click here, click this side, and click above it to select that side that you want. I'm just going to minimize this one. And change this to maybe realistic. I'm just going to apply materials. And uh, inside the metallic paint, I'm going to apply flaked reflective beads. This one here. Just click this arrow. And just drag this one here and drop. And um, close this one. I'm going to go to visualize. Click this light, this drop down arrow, and adjust exposure setting. I'm just going to make this lighter. There you go. And maybe you can apply fillet. So, so go to solid, select fillet edge, click radius option from the status bar, and enter 0.5 for radius. And just click this edge. This one here. Enter twice. Right click to repeat fillet edge. There you go. Now it looks clean. You can continue cleaning up or smoothen the edges by clicking the edges here. And I think we're done. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.